everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with a project share. This is um, for my upcoming class that I'm teaching next week. Sorry, I had some glue on there. Um, but I kind of showed you half of the project um, in my last video, and or one of my videos. And I just wanted to um, follow up and show you what I ended up making from it. So I earlier, like um, ooh, about a year ago now, I then scrapbooking moved to a new location and um, I told her that I would make some samples for the um, the new for a new look in the shop and so um, one of the things that I had made were these butterfly canvases um, using the mink and watercolor um, on the canvas as the background and so um, a lot of people had asked about that and they wanted to buy it but I don't know if I really want to, well, I guess I could make it, but it, I think it's more fun if you make it yourself. So I told her I would teach a class on it and I was able to get canvases. Um, it's much cheaper if you can get it at Walmart. So I got, um, I think it was like a two pack of this 11 by 17 canvas uh, for $5. And my Walmart ran out. We only had like maybe two packs. So I bought those, um, but that's not enough for a class. So I ended up, um, when I went to Oahu, I had um, went to that Walmart and I bought a few more. So I think I have enough for a full class. And anyway, I just wanted to make a sample so that they knew what we would be doing. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you now. I'm going to try to turn on the light and see if that helps. See the color? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Sorry. Um, it's very nice outside, but the lighting in my office is not very good. So anyway, this is um, what I did. So I used the, um, I didn't do anything to prep the canvas. I just colored right on it. Um, I wanted to use my Distress Oxides. Um, so that's why it's a little bit more chalky looking. Um, no, that's not better. Okay, so, so anyway, um, I used, I just smeared it on my, um, craft mat and then I used a water brush and I just colored away so um, and then after it dried I I did um, dry it with the um, heat tool because I didn't want it like leaking everywhere um, and then I let it dry like overnight but we're not gonna have that much time in class so we're gonna have to use the heat tool for the most part but I like the way that it blends it blends really nice um, and it's a nice look. So I'll bring my regular um, Distress Inks in, in if they want to just use that and have a more regular watercolor look. And I'll also bring my Distress Oxide, so in case anyone wants to play with those. Um, it's really backlogged, I guess, to get those Distress Oxides. So um, anyway. And then um, the a lot of these butterflies are from the Mink butterfly pack um, that Heidi Swap was selling when it first came out so I had a I bought a couple packs of it and you only need a few of the big ones and most of them are big in that pack like this one is from there this one this one so um, the class will be able to pick which ones they want to use and then I want them to learn how to use their mink if they have a mink um, so because a lot of them have it and they don't know how to use it or they don't want to use it so I'm going to show them how they can use it and how easy it is so um, then to supplement because um, you can't have only big butterflies so what I did was I I used a lot of my dyes I have a lot of butterfly dyes as you can tell and punches and they're all in different sizes and that's kind of what you want um, I can actually go smaller and fill in with more butterflies but I'm gonna just do this for now so these are I just want to share with you some of the ones that I use this is actually a Stampin Up punch um, but I like the size of it so I use that um, this is an old Martha Stewart punch that's um, this this one right here and then um, what did I do with the rest <laughs> oh here <laughs> oh my goodness okay so um, this one right here is a uh, Concord and Ninth. It comes with the flower and the butterfly. Although I like both, I like the butterfly a lot more. When the flower cuts out, I'm not as happy with that, but um, they do cut out really well. Like it doesn't get stuck. 
This paper smooches one um, also cuts really well. That's like this one here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's these here. These ones right there. And um, then I used this um, duo. I like it because it's wide. Like I have a lot of other butterfly dies, but I like this one because it's wide and the size. So this is called Moonlight Butterfly and Kaleidoscope Butterfly, but they're meant to um, stack on each other if you wanted to because they're the same size and shape. But I use them differently. Like I just use them separately. So there's one of them. I don't know. Maybe I didn't use... Oh, no, there. There's the other one. So it actually comes with the antenna that you can glue on as well. And then the other um, thing that I used was this um, Create die. It's by Heidi Swap. I really love her handwriting. Um, and I don't get to use these dies a lot because they're a lot um, bigger. There it is. Sorry. My um, camera area is not very wide or big. Um, but... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out um, a bunch of the words and just let them choose which one they want. So those, all the punches and die stuff, I just cut it out of um, gold foiled cardstock. So I need to get more of that um, before this class. But anyway, um, I went with the rainbow theme. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you that when I was talking about the inks. Um, and you know everybody's into like the whole unicorn thing right now so i thought it was kind of cool to do the rainbows um plus i really like the colors that they gave you in the palette um that you can get in the distress oxides i wasn't really sure if i would like it but i'm pretty happy with it um so that's the project so i'll be teaching this next week saturday um at island scrapbooking and I'll probably do maybe a couple other variations of it so that they can see um, samples uh, that you don't have to use butterflies. You can use other things like flowers and whatever, but um, to create your own art. Anyway, I hope you guys um, have a great weekend. It's Merry Monarch here in Hilo, so it's very crowded and there's a lot of um, craft fairs going on right now, but I'm trying to be good and not go to them. Um, because I'm doing a lot of Agnes and Dora shopping. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, um, if you want to know what that is, go watch my last video. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!